All right, last one for me. What do you know about Sony cameras, Will? Nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Of course you do. We yeah, do. I know a thing or two. We use Sony cameras. Yeah. You've used the RX series in the past. Oh. Uh, quietly, Sony just took over the mirrorless camera business scene. Mm -hmm. They stole all kinds of ground from Canon, Nikon. And, and me being in the YouTube space, I see so Sony's everywhere, man, with YouTubers. With the tubers, they're all about Sony these days. And a lot of it has to do with the video performance. You get that, what do people call it? If uh, cine, Cinematic look. Have you ever seen a cinematic look before, Will? No. No, you wouldn't. Guy like Kirk, on the other hand, he's just driving home in traffic and it's cinematic. It's like just to invest. Yeah, it, yes, exactly. It's got a weird aspect ratio with black bars. It's anamorphic. <laughs> Lens flares. Lens flares. It's, uh, some sort, it's a log. It's very gloomy. It's shot in log. Yeah. And it's uh, incredibly slow frame rate. And nothing is in focus. The depth of field is so shallow. It's just constant bokeh. <laughs> the entire frame is bokeh. That's just a day in the life yeah. with Kirk. But Sony, they banked on it. They banked on that whole trend, and they really went after it, and you got to kind of applaud it. They embraced the idea that everyone's using smartphones except for people who are making videos professionally, I guess, on YouTube. YouTubers represented a big market or one of the few remaining markets for consumer cameras. And it started with the mirrorless stuff, and then, of course, all the A-series full-frame stuff. So many YouTubers have that as well. They shoot great video. I can... I can easily endorse Sony camera products for shooting video for YouTube. We have A9, A A A7 Mark IV, A7 III is over there. We have two A9s. Sony. We got lots of it. So anyway, the reason I'm bringing it up today is because this is evidence that they're further investing in owning and dominating the YouTube crowd they put out a new version of a shooting grip. They've done shooting grips in the past, but this one, it's like the ultimate vlog situation, as far as I can tell. If you're about to start a vlog, as you would, if you were a teenager in 2020, you would be starting a vlog, Will. Mm -hmm. And would. you would be buying this. So you would be saving up. You would be working at... Uh, uh, nope. Wendy's? You would be working at Wendy's. And it's like one day, one day, one day. I'm vlogging one day. Yeah, <laughs> vlogging one day. I'm vlogging one day, and in the meantime, you're just vlogging on your phone or something. But people, there's no cinematic aspect. No, no. And people are like, I this is gross. Everyone's just booing me. They're like, this is gross. Yeah. And you're like, one day, 24 frames. Cinema. Cin one day cinema. Log. One day I'm shooting in log. Yeah. And and color grading. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you would be you would you would have your eyes set on this kind of a setup. And what's cool about this handle, I don't know if it's out yet. They unveiled it today. I don't know when you can buy it. It's a wireless shooting grip that will work with the latest mirrorless cameras, A92, A9, A7R4, A7R3, A7 III, A6600, A6400, and A6100. And it really takes your, your still camera and makes it a video camera, which is how people are using these things anyways. It gives you the functionality that you need and the grip that you need to perform a lot of the, the frequent shots that you're seeing inside of vlog style content, which is obviously what people are making. You have a record button, a good place to grip. You have a, an actual little zoom jog. And the craziest part, it has a button on it so you can flip the camera around to face you and then flip it back around to face the other way. Plus the entire grip turns into a tripod when you do your cooking show, Will. Because that's, that's what you do after. And you'll see in their, in their commercial here, it's exactly what takes place. So he's going through the menus. Look at this. This is you after you get off your Wendy shift. You hit, you click the movie button. I'm so excited. Here come the flowers. And look at you. It's cinematic. Look at the bokeh. You see the depth of field? What happened there? Yeah. Views are coming. Subscribers are coming. 
it's all happening for you once you have this. And look, it's so much easier. These things were always weird to hold for video because they never really were video cameras. But look at this. You hit the button, bang, 180 flip. And look, this is the be best me. part. He's vlogging. I don't know, he's in Australia or something. It's a perfect day. And boom, Ooh. he goes wide with it. Now you're there with him. And then look at this. What is that, cilantro? He's in the kitchen. And, and this is where I feel like you can dominate well, right here, mm. with the slicing and the dicing and with the lobster. And tell me you're not hungry because that's usually the way that we end this show is with a little bit of hunger. So the thing's going to be 140 bucks. Vloggers are going to gobble this up better than that lobster. I promise you that. Every vlogger I know is going to buy this. Mm. Cable-free communication. The old grips needed to connect via USB. That was ugly. That was terrible. So it's a wireless communication. It's going to be 140 bucks, but you already bought some expensive camera. It'll work with the RX series as well. And it's going to give you... The flip, the angle adjust, a photo button, a programmable button, a lock switch, a dedicated movie button, zoom, and a built-in tripod, and a good place to grip. Now you tell me. You tell me how your vlog is going to fail. Because it ain't. No. You're going to go full frame. You're going to spend way too much money on something like an A9. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be looking at flowers. No. You're going to have 17 viewers. Success. Bingo, YouTube, 2020. Tuber.